Telegraph reported that parents are baffled by young people and their teenagers speak their new language, which is called Teenglish. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, guys. <laughs> any 13-year-olds in tonight? <laughs> no, surely not. Any, any parent who brought a 13-year-old to a show like this would be taken away by DHS. <laughs> English. Where have I heard that word before? Oh, yeah, this 2009 article which starts with Cool beans, rents. Mothers and fathers are finally being given a chance to understand Tinglish. Where, no, actually, sorry, it was actually from this article in 2010 where adults were warned if they dissed Tinglish, they'd be an epic fail. No, no, that's not it. Maybe it's from this one from 2011 about a Tinglish translation app called Whatever. Wait, no, maybe it was all of those articles and maybe this is a bullshit story they tread out once a year so that baby boomers can laugh at how dumb millennials are. <laughs> Don't mock millennials for the way they speak, old people. Mock them for the things they do and think. <laughs> Here's Alan Jones getting his head around some of the Tinglish words that have risen in popularity in 2018. Dude. <laughs> hey. Which is shorthand for OK. Salty. Never heard about that. What's that mean? Salty? Means to be rude. L-I-T. Describes something good. <laughs> L-I-T, it's lit, Alan, lit! It's pronounced lit. Sometimes you can put an A-F on the end as in as fuck, which means lit a fuck. Come on! Lit a fuck? Even I screwed it up. Man, that is lit a fuck. <laughs> One etiquette expert commenting on Tinglish claimed using slang words in a workplace can be a fast ticket to being unemployed. I agree. Anyone over the age of 17 that uses Tinglish publicly should be sacked. YOLO. <laughs> lit. Sup? Salty, savage. Throwing shade, what's that mean? Hey, hey. we can have a 420 party. <laughs> yeah, we're so cool and dope. <laughs> we out here, fam. We lit AF. <laughs> <laughs> they should all be fired immediately. <laughs>